Sarah Hall, and today we're going to discuss ancestral healing. Your family plays a huge role in determining who you are and how you are shaped biologically, psychologically, and spiritually. They may even play a bigger role than you think. You see, your family members are your chosen soulmates. Your soul chooses both the relationships that will shape you as you grow up and the lineage into which it will incarnate. This spiritual plan is being followed even if you were adopted or if you were raised primarily by someone other than your biological mom and dad. At a soul level, you choose the individuals who will best help you to grow, evolve, and learn throughout your human journey. You choose the family members who will perfectly catalyze the growth and lessons that your soul needs at a karmic level. Your ancestral lineage plays a big, big role in that. Your ancestral lineage is programmed with the exact emotional, psychological, and physical conditions that will best aid you in completing your life purpose. Even when those conditions are challenging, your ancestral lineage influences your perspective. It influences the relationships that you develop both within your family and beyond it. And it influences the specific areas of healing that your soul will focus on in this lifetime. These things make up your soul's chosen environment for expanding the presence of love on planet Earth. Your soul chooses your lineage as its perfect learning course through which to evolve. And not only does your family lineage help to serve your purpose, but you also help to serve your family. Part of why your soul chose your lineage is because you have the power to upgrade and heal the energy of your ancestral lineage so that all the souls who share in it benefit from the lessons and strengths that you bring. The healing contribution that your lifetime offers your lineage helps both the souls who incarnate later as your family's descendants, and it helps your ancestors too. You see, spiritual energy is something that we do not create or destroy. Rather, it evolves and transforms throughout time and space in our earthly dimension. So the souls of your ancestors, whether they are resting between lifetimes in heaven or have already reincarnated, still carry the imprint of the energy that they share with you and experience subtle shifts based on the adjustments that you make to the coding of your spiritual DNA. When you heal a pattern in your lineage, you heal it for your ancestors and descendants at this very deep spiritual level. Now, you might be wondering, wouldn't that mean then that I'm related to thousands of different souls? The answer is yes. Your lineage affects the souls of thousands. And you have participated in many ancestral lineages throughout the human lifetimes that you have lived. This interconnectedness is part of the way that our united human consciousness functions. What you learn and achieve for yourself, you learn and achieve for the whole world because we are one family. So what is ancestral healing exactly? How do we go about accomplishing something like this? Well, for one, I think it's important to establish that life will naturally lead you to the emotional patterns, challenges, or relationships necessary to trigger what needs to be healed within you and your lineage. So just by living your life, you'll be addressing opportunities to heal ancestral energy patterns. However, if you find yourself continually confronting the same relationship patterns, family issues, emotional challenges, or seeming blocks over and over again, and you really want to overcome these things, then it can be helpful to take a deeper look and proactively pursue your healing. In ancestral healing, we trace any of these emotional issues or relationship challenges and so forth that you're experiencing back to their roots. We examine the ancestral source of the pattern 
And then we reprogram that pattern into something new. This is accomplished by going into a shamanic journey. This is a kind of inner spiritual exploration, a shamanic journey, akin to deep meditation or astral projection or lucid dreaming. While in this state, you'll connect with the infinite wisdom of spirit to receive knowledge and insight on your ancestors. Your spirit guides and your angels will help to reveal this information to you as you are there in your journey. Often you'll find yourself actually becoming aware of trauma-based memories encoded within your DNA that might require more healing attention. It's common that someone's ancestral memories of trauma might actually even be similar to their past life memories of trauma. And this is normal because again, the soul chooses the lineage that will best bring up what needs to be healed or evolved. In healing the pattern, you're actually healing both ancestral and past life soul memory at once. Once you identify the issue and its source, your guides and angels will then show you what needs to be done in order to transform and heal the energy pattern. This often involves both forgiveness work and walking a mile in your ancestors' shoes to fully understand their experience, purge out their pain, and react to that pain with love. Though this can be rather intense, if you're feeling guided towards ancestral healing, the result is really well worth it. You'll feel lighter, uplifted, and free of seeming past limitations so that you can live your best and happiest life. Spirit will always guide your path in ancestral healing such that it gives you exactly the lesson or experiences that you need for your life in the present. It's truly amazing because you'll get in touch with exactly the ancestors who you most need to connect with, whether it was a grandparent that you knew personally or even an ancestor from a hundred generations past. An added benefit of this kind of work is that it often brings subtle healing into your current relationships with your family members too. Now, in my experience, ancestral healing is best experienced with the guidance of a shaman or a healer who can provide a strong support and structure to your experience. By usually they'll hold space energetically for your healing. They'll also help to channel um, some of the messages from your guides deciphering things. You can do this by seeking out a traditional healing work with a local shaman that you know, or in my case, the angels have guided me to use a combination of traditional shamanic healing methods and angel healing methods to guide this experience as gently as possible for highly sensitive people. If you're feeling guided to learn more about that, you can certainly go ahead and visit my website, sarahhall.com, for a little bit more info. Now, when it comes to understanding ancestral healing, it's helpful to understand the spiritual component of your DNA. Your DNA carries so much more information than what modern science yet fully understands. Your DNA encodes your spiritual consciousness. It is highly flexible and movable, and we have the power to upgrade and change our spiritual encoding through our own life experiences. Now, according to modern science, the human genome contains around 20,000 known genes that encode proteins. But these genes account for only about 1.2% of the total genome. The other 98.8% is considered non-coding DNA and thought to have no biological function by modern science. Well, I'll tell you guys right now that according to the messages I have received from the angels, loud and clear for many years, every single bit of your DNA participates in coding the information that makes up your being. Your DNA carries the spiritual, emotional signatures of your ancestors and is filled with powerful ancient wisdom that you can trace all the way back to the origins of humanity. Your DNA is 
the only history book and holy book we really need because God wrote the truth of your origin and of the whole of the universe within you. Now, science is catching up with this spiritual knowledge just a little bit because according to recent studies, it has actually been observed that memories are passed down through many generations. For example, the descendants of Holocaust survivors have been observed to have an altered gene resulting in PTSD, higher occurrences of hypertension, obesity, and lower levels of the hormone cortisol, which helps our body bounce back after a trauma. Also in the 1960s studies on a group of African Americans, it was observed that traumatic memories of slavery were passed down through the lineage. Studies also revealed that there was a major difference in the health of Native American lineages before the trauma of colonization versus after the trauma of colonization, in which occurrences, of, again, of PTSD, depression, and also type 2 diabetes all increased as a result of the inherited trauma. Other studies have shown altered genetic coding in the descendants of survivors of famines, in which generations later, the descendants of those survivors continue to process glucose differently. Amazing, isn't it? The physical evidence of all this stuff is popping up all over the world, and you can do plenty of research on it. I find it really interesting that ancestral worship and reverence has been a strongly rooted tradition in cultures all over the world. According to the angels, at a fundamental human spiritual level, we can sense that our ancestors play a big role in the story that we're now living. And we've always been able to sense that we can gain wisdom from our ancestors, as well as contribute to healing the world by way of what they have left us. Ancestral healing enables us to gain a deeper understanding of who we are, and it strengthens us in completing our life's purpose. All of us deserve to experience our human spiritual birthright of love and joy and life. And in my experience, ancestral healing can really play a beautiful role in that. If you'd like to dive even deeper into this topic with me, actually, I have a podcast on this topic that will be aired live Thursday, May 17th, that's 2018, at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time on bringmetolife.com. And of course, I'll leave you the link below to watch the show live. Or if you're watching this video after that date has occurred, then good news, the podcast is available for you to listen to right now on iTunes, Spreaker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, or YouTube. And again, of course, I'll leave all of the links to find it below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell below so that you'll know when I have made a new video for you guys. You can also keep in touch with me on social media where I love to post daily messages, oracle card postings, and things like that. Love to get to know you guys there. And you can contact me on my website if you'd like an ancestral healing session with me. All of my love and gratitude go with you, my dears. Know until we meet again that you are so loved and so very blessed. Bye!